Hello everyone, hope you're doing wonderful today. Welcome to another video. Today's video is a step-to-step -step tutorial of my process uh, about doing the beach art. So I'm going to start from the beginning uh, with my base and priming it till we get those beautiful leasings. So let's get started. Okay, so before I start with the actual technique, few important points. Different artists have different ways uh, to do the beach art. So this is just my way. Um, next important point uh, is the resin that you use. So I personally like to use a high viscosity resin for this technique. It works well uh, when it comes to the lacing part. So for the blending of the blue shades or the yellow orange uh, shades in the sunset theme you can use a slow curing or a uh, fast curing resin uh, i personally like to see the different colors so a high viscosity resin works well for me so the next important point is leveling of your base so this is really really important so for example here um, so you can see that uh, that bubble should be in the middle so if it's not in the middle that means your uh, base is not leveled so if your base is not leveled once you pour the resin it will start dripping to one side and that will be a real problem when uh, you're doing the lacing part all your beautiful lacing will just start dripping to one side so make sure that your base is leveled like this the bubble should be in the middle okay so when you're doing the beach art on an mdf base or any wooden base um, an important thing that uh, you should do is prime the surface so yes most of the mdf base that comes for uh, art are usually uh, said to be ready for uh, pouring of resin but I personally think that you should prime the base so that if there are any any spots that have been missed uh, the primer will cover it up so uh, you can use any kind of primer uh, I actually just use simple acrylic paint so today I'm going to be doing the beach with different shades of blue so I have painted um, the base with the blue acrylic paint so I've left a little bit um, because I want to put some sand over there so I haven't primed it but you can prime the whole thing with any color of your choice so for the sand part or the beach part what I'm doing is sticking normal PVA glue and putting it uh, over the surface wherever I want the sand to be so I'm going to spread it, uh, spread it around uh, nicely and then sprinkle sand all over that part. So sprinkle the sand all over the glue part and then dab it so that the sand sticks there and then allow it to dry. So once the glue is dry, uh, shake off the excess sand and then uh, repeat the process if you feel there are any gaps. So I'm going to repeat the process all over again, put the glue, spread it around, sprinkle sand, dab until it, uh, dab the sand all over until it sticks and then allow it to dry. So this also allows you to create a texture in the beach area. So instead of this you can also just mix sand with resin and uh, spread it all over the part where you want the beach to be. So once this is done, uh, next thing that I do is tape my edges with some masking tape. Uh, so I just put masking tape all over the edge. Uh, I've seen some artists just uh, leave the edges and uh, just put tape at the back you can do that too uh, I don't really like uh, 
resin dripping over the edges so I tape my base right from the edges. Okay, so once this is done, the next thing is pouring off the uh, colors. <clears throat> so make sure that uh, your base is level before you start pouring resin over it. So after pouring the resin and hardener together, I have kept it aside for about 10 minutes or so. Um, so the high viscosity resin would look something like this. Yeah, so it will start warming up or thickening up uh, much faster than slow curing resin. So always keep a watch on this. Uh, so since we have less time here, uh, I will start pouring the blue shades so that I'll be able to blend them together nicely. So this particular part where, uh, where you make the uh, ocean or the water uh, can be done pretty much with uh, any resin slow fast whatever you have uh, do remember the timing will change depending on the resin that you're using all we're doing here is mixing different shades of blue or one shade of blue and then pouring it over the base and uh, if you have more than one shade of blue uh, blending of the two colors would look nice Okay, so I have mixed up my two colors, uh, sky blue and uh, a peacock blue. And once they are mixed up nicely, uh, I'll just pour them over the base. So please do uh, wear gloves and a respirator um, while doing all while doing this. Okay, so I'm just uh, pouring my first shade of blue, followed by the peacock blue, and I like to blend the two colors where they meet. Once you pour all the colors, uh, blend them together using a popsicle stick or a silicone brush or even your heat gun. Okay, so a personal opinion here. Uh, I personally have never achieved a lacing effect with the low viscosity resin. So if you're doing the ocean part with the low viscosity resin, uh, I would suggest uh, you to wait until this fully cures before you do the lacing part. So it's been been about half an hour in total after I have uh, poured and poured the various colors and all. So the resin is, is slightly thick uh, and uh, I'm going to now do the lacing for uh, the first layer. So I'm using normal white opaque pigment. Uh, it's a high concentration uh, pigment comes like this like a paste so no lacing pigments or anything like that just a normal white opaque pigment I'm going to mix it with a little bit of resin to make a thick paste and basically what I want to achieve is uh, white waves near the shore and uh, the rest of them I wanted to blend with the blue ocean if the resin is already very thick then uh, all I will get is white cells if it's still a little bit fluid, then um, it should blend with the blue on the top part. Okay, so let's make some cells. So here's what I do. The first thing I do is uh, put a thin layer of clear resin along the sand part and the blue ocean part. So this is just to make sure that the it looks as though that the waves are starting from the shore, not directly drowning into the ocean. So once I put my clear resin, I'm going to follow it up with the uh, white resin just below the clear resin part as I'm showing right now. So make the line as thick or thin as you want.
okay so to make the cells this is what i do i use my heat gun so the heat gun has two settings the low and the high the low basically gives a lot of heat and the high uh, just blows air at a high speed so first switch on the lower setting and heat up the whole resin especially the white waves then switch on the high setting and blow the waves wherever you want it to go so basically what happens is when you put high heat it makes the resin a bit more fluid so when you blow the air at a high speed uh, whatever cells will be formed um, it will be it will able it will be able to go wherever you blow it and then as the resin starts cooling all the cells that are there it will it will take whatever shape that is that has been formed so there you go look at those beautiful cells so no alcohol ink no isopropyl alcohol just resin and uh, white opaque pigments that's it so we'll come back to this after five hours when uh, it's it's almost half cured and we will actually make another view um, with the just clear resin and i'll show you how we can get more distinctive white cells so it's been about uh, five hours or so and this resin is dry to touch and you can see that on top most of the cells have blended with the blue and i can see some white views near the shore so now i'm going to make another view with more distinctive white cells so what i'm doing here is covering the full surface with clear resin so i have chosen to cover the sand part also with resin so if you want a more natural look you can just leave it as it is I have waited for the right consistency of the resin to make the waves again just like the previous process. So here I am just putting a white line over the clear resin and then same process first heat you uh, using the lower setting of the heat gun and then use the higher setting to blow the waves. beautiful cells again this time we will get more white distinctive cells because we have poured it over clear resin so you'll get the best cells over clear resin meanwhile you can add some shells some fake moss uh, in the sand area then we're going to allow this to fully cure and uh, your uh, beach coaster is ready so i want to show you another way of making the white lacing and uh, this is actually a project another project a different project so what i'm doing here is uh, using a butane torch so be very careful when you're using the butane torch because it uh, gives out high flame so use it away from you so all i'm doing is heating up the white resin using the butane torch and then using my higher setting of the heat gun to blow the waves so this actually will give you more delicate cells this this particular method but uh, you know it's it's a little bit dangerous the butane torch so uh, a lot of people don't really some people don't really use it so you can use either method whichever one is more comfortable for you Coming back to a beach coaster, I added a little bit of uh, fake moss. Um, didn't have my shells, so we'll be adding that later. So I just want to show you what the masking tape does. It will actually protect your edges. So all the resin drips fell down and onto the tape. So once you're done, you can just peel off the tape and the resin drips will uh, come off with it. And uh, you can paint the edges uh, with acrylic paint uh, to give a more neater look.
the video was a bit long but i hope i've cleared all uh, doubts please do make one yourself and uh, post in the comments on uh, on how it went you can also tag me on my instagram channel at everything underscore resin thank you so much for watching do subscribe comment like and share for more videos i'll see you soon in the next one